Hey there, magical artist. Uh, today we're going to talk about optical illusions. And I'm pretty sure everyone kind of knows what optical illusions are, but we're going to talk about them anyway. So optical illusions, they could be funny things we see with our eyes, but when we really look at them, they're actually completely different. So, for example, like your computer screen. Your computer screen is made up of a bunch of red, green, and blue dots. But we don't see those dots, we see different pictures. Optical illusions, by definition, are images that we see differently than they actually are. That being said, this behind me is an optical illusion. One of my favorite artists, his name was MC Escher, and he had made such amazing artwork with all optical illusions. If you want, you can go look him up. He's a great artist. So today, we're gonna try to make our own optical illusions, like so. It looks like you can walk right into it, but it's not. It's a flat piece of paper. But today we're gonna to try to make these. And we really need a couple simple tools. So one, after I name everything, you can go pause the video and you can go get, grab what you need. So you need a pencil or anything to write with. You need a ruler or a straight edge, anything that has a straight side. And then you need paper or anything you can draw on. And then markers, crayons, color pencils, whatever you have in hand. Anything works, because you're gonna try coloring it like this afterwards. So now we're gonna start. You're gonna take your pencil or writing tool and just pick a random point on your paper. Let's go with here. So just a random dot. And then we're gonna take our straight edge, your ruler or straight edge, and from that dot, we're going to make lines going to the edge of the paper, like this. And you're gonna make all lines going from the center out. Let's all do that together. You wanna make about 16 lines or so. You have to make sure they're even number because if not, then you'll have a little accident like this show you. I made an extra line so then I had to just color over it, which is no big deal. People always make accidents. So we're going to continue making our lines. One, two, three, four, five. Gotta make sure they're even. If you don't get to 16, that's totally fine. As long as you have an even number of lines, that's perfect. I think it was at 12. I'm not sure. Let's count it down. 14. Yeah, so I got to 14, and I don't have any more room for 16. So this is what my result is. And then we're going to take this now, and whatever you use to color, go for it. So I think I'm going to make a pink one. I'm going to take my pink color pencil and my magenta color pencil. Now, I like to do two colors of the same shade. So on this one, you can see there's a, a light blue and then the, there's slightly darker blue lines outlining them. It gives it like a better effect for the depth. So we're gonna just take our colors and we're going to just gently color in one set of lines. I will show you in a moment. So like that. And then we have to make sure we skip a space so we have to move to the next one. Every other set of lines is what we have to color. So you guys can do that. Remember to have your second color handy because when we're done coloring all of them, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna trace the lines. So, see, it's like my second one. We usually try to stay with one color just so you get more of an effect like that one. But after we're done with this one, you could totally go try whatever you would like. You can make different shapes, that'd be cool. You can do different colors, different patterns. The artist MC Escher actually has a piece, it's called Gecko, and he has about four different colored geckos and they're all in like a square shape and they're just repeated all over the page. Really pretty. I recommend going to look at MC Escher. Got my sharpener make sure I sharpen my color pencils because okay 
We're gonna continue now. Oh, that's a broke again. Make sure to always have your sharpener on hand if you're using color pencils. If you're like me, I always break my color pencils. I might have to switch to crayons. No! I'm gonna switch to a pink crayon. Pink crayon. Oh, I'm in luck. It's the exact same shade. Okay. I got number four done. Make sure you also have to color inside the lines because if you don't, then it's going to look kind of wonky and not really give you the same effect as an optical illusion as we're trying to go for. Almost there. Alright, that's all the coloring. Now I'm going to take a darker color that kind of matches so with your pink you'll use like a magenta or a red um, if you want to use a red you can use an orange you can go with the rainbow if you would like so I'm gonna go with this one I'm gonna take my straight edge again and I'm gonna trace over the lines that I had originally made so they are darker and I'll show you how it looks after I do the first one so you can see how you see some of the magenta compared to the pencil that I used. Now, depending on what tool you use, either if it's a pen, pencil, crayon, color pencil, any of those tools, it doesn't matter. You could um, choose however you like to make your optical illusion, but try to stay a little outside the line, but also cover it so the white paper can grab the color, and it looks like that. So far, so good. If you're keeping up with the video, you're doing a great job. Oh, I kind of messed up on the last line. But that's okay. It's kind of thicker like the, than the other ones, but we can always fix it. I'm going to add some more pink into it so I can cover in a little of the white that I went over. And then I'm going to take the magenta and just slightly cover it again. So it'll be a little thicker than the rest, but that's okay. Yeah, so it looks like that. And it's kind of thicker than the rest, but it's okay. So now we have a blue one and a pink one. Let's put this one up right next to it. Look at that. We got two optical illusions. How cool are those? All right, everyone. If you want, you can comment pictures of your optical illusions below and tell us what you think. And let me know if you guys uh, looked up MC Escher. He's a great artist. This video is brought to you by the Aspiring Art Academy.